Hey, what's up? Welcome back, Cult of Athena Blade Reviews. Something very special today from Windless is a new blade. This is the Sword of the Death Dealer from the 1973 painting of Frank Frazetta. Um, this is a pretty cool blade. Um, not something that I'm actually very familiar with. I know it's a fantasy blade of some sort. It's got an eagle on the pommel, so it can't be that bad. So we're gonna take a look at some specs on it. This one has been sharpened. It's really freaking heavy. We'll look at some specs on it, and believe it or not, we're gonna, we're gonna do some cut testing with it. So stay tuned, let's get to it. All right, 41 inches overall length on this blade. Um, we have an eagle handle, which is awesome. Let's just not deny that this handle is actually pretty cool, regardless of the rest of the blade. So awesome, awesome handle. We also have, it's peened. They stuck the nail right in the eagle's head though. That's not, that's not cool. Wood wrapped handle with a leather grip. Grip is freaking huge. Uh, you're better off using this with two hands, to be honest with you, if you have a normal sized hand. It's very, very pronounced handguard in the front of it from the traditional design of the painting. Um, we have a sweet logo. Look at that sweet logo. And of course, on this side as well, artwork by Frazetta Junior Enterprises with the little logo. Made by Windless, made in India. These do not come sharpened. Uh, blade length 32 inches, like I said before. Overall length. Um, a little bit over 40 inches, about 41 inches overall length, freaking huge. Um, this is a fantasy sword, use at your own discretion. <laughs> uh, I would not do anything other than cutting soft targets that are relative to cut testing, like water bottles and things like that. Do not swing this inside. <laughs> uh, we have a very open room in here. Um, you can see a whole lot of range to this thing. Um, we also put a back edge on it. Uh, I guess Mark got bored. <laughs> Mark's our sharpening guy and wanted to do a back edge on it. I don't know what he wanted me to do with it. I think he just really wanted to put a back edge on it. Um, but that could be available for thrusting, pulling the blade out. I don't think you really have to worry about that. All right, so it comes with this chain. It's supposed to be draped over the back. thing that shows the aesthetics of it, traditional artwork. Um, if you're into that, it's pretty cool. We have an adorned scabbard. Hardwood scabbard, the back of it, you'll see the leather, the brown leather going all the way down. The tip of the scabbard is actually pretty cool. Doesn't really have a whole lot of retention. It is a wood cord scabbard, so it's very smooth. Clean it in out of there. Uh, just watch out for this, so you don't get clocked in the head. But um, it's a pretty cool blade. It's like over three pounds. It's pretty huge. Um, but yeah, pretty sweet scabbard. Pretty awesome blade. Take a look at some up close looks at it in the scabbard, out of the scabbard, and then, believe it or not, we're gonna